Hey, Rick Salmon here. Thank you so much for joining me. Here's a very quick, easy, simple, and fun technique for sharpening someone's skin in Photoshop CS4 or Photoshop CS5. All right, the first thing you want to do is you want to have your image open. After that, you want to have your layers panel open. You want to duplicate your layer. So now you have two layers exactly the same, one on top of the other. You're going to go up here to your blending modes. You're going to change the blending mode from normal to overlay. I know, it doesn't look that great. Hang in there. Now we're going to go to filter, we're going to go down to other, and go to high pass. It still doesn't look that great. In fact, it looks worse. But what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on the most important part of the picture here. And in a low resolution file, you could leave the radius under 10 higher the resolution, the more you want to increase the radius. So I'll leave this around here, about 8, click OK. Now, we're not done. Here comes the magic. On my Mac, I'm going to press Command-I to invert the selection. Now look at this. Now the whole image is nice and soft. On the top layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the top layer, select my eraser tool, and I'm going to set the opacity at about 50% because I don't want the erasing to happen too quickly. So now I'm erasing through that top layer so I have nice sharp eyes, a nice sharp mouth. How about the eyebrows? I can reduce this opacity you know, even more and just get a little, de little more detail in the eyebrows. I'm using the bracket keys on my keyboard. Uh, the right bracket makes the brush larger. Left bracket makes it small. I'm going to bring back some detail in the hair. And look at that. In no time at all, we have a very nice, nice skin softening technique. Well, I hope you like that one. I'll catch you later. And for more information on what I do, check out my website, www.ricksalmon.info.